gonna have to list out. Welcome back, kids. Mortified Zombie here, back with another episode of My Drunk Rants, number three. Look what I've got. My stomach's gonna fucking hate me after this is done. And my co-host, the last of my Captain Morgan, mixed in with some coke. Well, I asked for a few friends of mine on Facebook and so on and so forth to help me contribute to this video by giving me some things to rant about that I might agree with, things that annoy me on a personal level. We got responses from two people. Did a great job, you guys. But they were great responses that I got, and I'm going to include all four of them in the video here and tell you who gave them to me, or who sent them. Plot twist, it's the two people that commented. I know I said I'm not going to use names on here, but I feel like first names is fine because, I don't know, if you if we're connected on Facebook at all, you already know who I'm talking about. Oh boy, here we go. It's about a shot, right? That wasn't so good. Number one, every time the subject of religion comes up, someone asks me that ever-invasive question, I say that, I really don't have a problem with talking about it. First question is always, so you worship Satan? Motherfucker! I don't even believe in Satan. Old hail the Dread Father. How the fuck would I worship something I don't believe in? Really? Today's episode is brought to you by... Tums, the only thing keeping me from having horrible stomach pains while I make this video for you guys. Because I ran out of Captain Morgan, don't get paid until Friday, and all I have is Fireball. Number two, this one came in from my buddy Dylan from Facebook, and he said something to the effect of people who say, I'm not racist, or on behalf of all blank. Okay, generally if you start a sentence with, I'm not racist, but... You're probably about to say something really racist, and it's probably not okay. Just because you made that little clarification doesn't mean it's not offensive. That's almost like saying, hey, no offense, but you're a real piece of shit. Number three, I really cannot stand people who can't handle their fucking liquor. This isn't to say someone who throws up because they've got too much alcohol in their stomach or something to that effect. This is more referring to people who get out of control levels of stupid while they're drinking. I realized just now that I poured my shot at the beginning of the video footage for number three, but never actually took it. So I'm pouring another oversized shot to compensate for it. God help me. Just kidding, I don't believe in God. This one came in from another friend of mine, Danielle. If you chew with your mouth open, so help I can't fucking stand loud eaters. Don't fucking moan while the food's in your mouth, but that's not really the common problem. The biggest issue is people who chew with their fucking mouths open. I swear to God, if you don't shut your mouth, help me God. The next person I catch doing that shit, I'm just gonna shove the remainder of the food down their throat. Number five. This one also comes from my buddy Dylan. Who gets to decide what an acceptable pet is, and fuck you for the decisions you've made thus far? If I am able to domesticate a 360 pound eastern lowland male gorilla, that's my best friend for fucking life. You ain't gonna do shit about it. Go ahead and try and come take him. I'm gonna teach him a little something about gorilla warfare. But on a real note, there are certain other animals that it's stupid that you're unable to own. Protect some of the endangered species because these people would have them as pets. I don't know, kind of like how dogs are to us now. Number six, my mortal enemies. People who walk slowly in Walmart aisles or on sidewalks. Special fuck you to you guys. It's kind of annoying having to cut these videos because I need an extra 30 seconds to sit here and recuperate from that fireball. Okay, if you're walking slowly in a Walmart aisle or down the sidewalk, and I'm right behind you, I know you can hear me and or see me. I am 6 foot 5 and 200 some odd pounds of southern edgy angst. There is no way you can miss me or miss my footfalls as I'm walking behind you, exaggeratedly slowly, hoping you'll take notice and fucking move. Number 7. Why is the fucking bathroom floor always wet when you go in there? Side question, any females watching this video, is that 
only a men's bathroom thing. But to elaborate further, it's ridiculous. Someone just mopped? Did someone just piss on the floor? Did someone leave the sink to overflow? Who knows? Number eight. This one's more of a personal issue. I hate it when I go in the store drunk. Never remember the one thing I need. The difference between high and drunk munchies is when you're inebriated, you're still under the impression you can cook. So you're gonna grab whatever sounds like it'll taste good, half-ass try and cook it, pass out, completely forget about it, and then your house is probably gonna have burned down by the time you wake up. But I digress. The main point of this is I always get new clothes, a new video games, some new software for whatever video game system I'm using, random camping supplies, knives, things of that nature, but never remember the one thing that I actually went in there to get. Sweet earth goddess, I am fucked up. Number nine. This one's another personal problem. I hate when I'm in a hurry trying to type to someone on Snapchat or Messenger and this awful fucked up little phone right here with all the cracks that you can't see because it got chewed on my dogs. Thanks, DJ. I hate whenever it freezes up when I'm in the middle of trying to type a message to someone in response to some emergency that's happened in their life or something they need advice with, some kind of craziness going on in their life. And I feel like I need to respond rapidly and definitely don't want to leave them thinking I've just left them on bread because that's a dick move. So if it takes me forever to respond, guys, I am so very sorry. I promise I am getting rid of this piece of shit phone as soon as I can. As a matter of fact, I'm going to have a very ceremonious funeral for it where I set the motherfucker on fire and post it to YouTube. Number 10. I know I said people from number 6 are my worst enemy, but you have to be an especially kind of shitty person to fall into the number 10 category. These people are the worst of the worst. I, I wouldn't trust my children around them. I wouldn't let them near my house even if it was locked. You can't, you can't trust anything around them. They're apt to do some crazy shit. I don't know, maybe they'll pour sugar in your goldfish tank. I don't know what that'll do, but it's probably not good. You just can't trust these people. Number 10 was sent in by Danielle. I abhor people who break pinky promises. You may laugh, but the pinky? It's sacred. As silly as it may seem, when you enter into a pinky pact, breaking it is pretty much the equivalent of selling classified information from the United States to Russia. For the grand finale, a small drink just won't do. 